let us discuss about seismic displacement sensing accelerometer here accelerometer means this transducer is measuring the accelerations or vibrations of a given machine or given motor or given engine okay so that transducer is called accelerometer here we are using seismic displacement means it is related to earth during the earthquake vibrations are coming those related vibrations we are calling seismic displacement so this accelerometer is using for measuring the earthquake vibrations also here we are calling with another name potentiometric accelerometer why we are using this name means we are using the potential meter for finding the vibrations or acceleration that's why we have given this name also for seismic displacement accelerometer okay in it there are two types one is this is a first type linear seismic displacement accelerometer this is a second one rotational seismic displacement uh, accelerometer so what is the difference between these two means here the in linear seismic displacement the entire accelerometer frame is moving in the linear form during the vibrations of a machine we are keeping the accelerometer on a machine okay whose vibrations we have to find with the vibrations of the machine this is also moving linearly that's why we are calling linear seismic displacement the working process uh, already we have discussed in the last class i will give the link in the description box please check it the second type rotational seismic displacement this is the accelerometer in the circular form we have to keep this circular accelerometer on the rotational machine okay if machine is rotating we have to keep on it so with the machine it is also rotating so because of this rotation we are calling it is a rotational seismic displacement sensing accelerometer so it is finding the vibrations of a rotating machine so let us take the basic principle of this accelerometer so this uh, accelerometer and the previous accelerometer also here inside the accelerometer we are keeping some mass some weight so because of the vibration of a machine on which we are keeping the accelerometer for finding the vibrations with the vibrations of the machine this accelerometer will also vibrate because of this this mass will also vibrate the displacement of the mass will measure the vibrations by using the electrical transducer it will measure the machine vibrations so same thing here we are taking the base in basic principle here we are taking some mass okay we are keeping this meter or accelerometer on a rotating object so this is the accelerometer it is very small in size so this is our machine it is rotating this um, meter is also rotating so whatever vibrations are there because of those vibrations mass will displace okay so it will vibrate in this direction okay if let us assume it is vibrating in this direction so the displacement of this mass because of the rotation of this accelerometer this mass will get displaced the displacement will measure by using the electrical transducer so this electrical transducer will give the vibrations of a given machine in description there are three main parts of this accelerometer first part is here we are seeing the housing or we can call it as frame and this center one is the mass it is connected this mass is connected to the frame at the same center here this mass is connected to the housing frame through springs this is a spring and here this is also the spring separate spring diagram added here it is in the zigzag manner so here two zigzag springs are there this side and this side so it is a first part first part is mass is connected to the frame through springs second part is again this mass is connected to the frame through dampers so separately added here this is the damper damper has cylinder and piston arrangement is there here in the damper some viscous oil is there it is providing the cushioning effect for this mass okay if there is no damper here this mass will unnecessarily vibrate with the spring so damper has two functions one is it is removing the unnecessary vibrations of the mass as well as it is giving the cushioning effect to the mass and here third part is this mass is connected to the one pointer here if the mass is vibrating like this up and down here we have one arrow this arrow is connected to the electrical displacement transducer 
okay we can call it as potentiometer also in potentiometer here wheatstone bridge is there okay so that wheatstone bridge will measure the vibrations of a given machine okay so these three are the main parts in the description let us take the working operation of this accelerometer as i told initially this is the rotating machine of which we have to find the vibrations now this is the accelerometer it is very small in size we are keeping the accelerometer fixing the accelerometer at the center of this machine okay now this accelerometer will also rotate with the rotation of the machine with the rotation of the accelerometer this mass will also rotate okay and but this mass will vibrate in the opposite direction okay like this because of this spring and damper arrangement okay. so it is trying to move in this direction it will vibrate in this direction opposite to the rotation okay so here we have to connect this mass to one of the arrow okay here we have to connect to the potentiometer or electrical transducer okay so in the potentiometer we have one wheatstone bridge wheatstone bridge means it is nothing but balanced bridge of the resistance okay so here we have to keep this arrow to one of the resistance of the wheatstone bridge let us take the diagram this is the resistance we have to keep this arrow here okay i will explain this wheatstone bridge just uh, listen this if this arrow is moving on the resistance the resistance of this wire will be also changing okay that change in resistance can measure in the wheatstone bridge okay that change in resistance will give the displacement of this mass this displacement is nothing but the vibrations of this machine okay. let us take the wheatstone bridge how it is working first it has four resistance r1 r2 r3 r4 this bridge this resistance are symmetrical about horizontal axis and vertical axis now for supplying the current to this bridge we are taking the battery here the amount of current we can control by using the rheostat by changing the resistance whatever current we want we can supply to the bridge here let us take at this after arrangement okay so we know this r1 value resistance r1 r2 value we know r3 value we know r4 we don't know let us assume like that we have to find r4 okay we are supplying some current so that in it some it is showing some current g value g means galvanometer it is showing some current means this amount of current is passing in this circuit here what you do means adjust this current so that whatever current inside this galvanometer is zero keep this is zero by changing this rheostat okay at that time i is zero is called null position okay at that i is zero we can call this bridge is in balanced condition balanced condition means the ratio of resistance this side is equal to ratio of this resistance this side means r1 by r4 is equal to r2 by r3 ratio of these two resistance is equal to ratio of these two resistance when it is uh, possible means when the galvanometer reading i is zero okay by using this formula we can find r4 r4 is equal to this side r4 will go r1 is as it is into r3 by r2 so this is the main use of this wheatstone bridge of finding the resistance uh, listen this if this arrow is moving on the resistance the resistance of this wire will be also changing okay that change in resistance can measure in the wheatstone bridge okay that change in resistance will give the displacement of this mass this displacement is nothing but the vibrations of this machine okay in short we can tell this potentiometer will give the vibrations of this rotating machine so this is the main working operation of this accelerometer okay this uh, here what are the applications of this accelerometer means we can use this instrument for finding the vibrations of the earthquake and then vibrations of machine vibrations of uh, automobile vehicles and then what are the advantages means it is very sensitive and it is giving very correct value it has simple arrangement and we can use at any place easily okay. and limitations are here we are using spring arrangement we have to replace these springs periodically for getting the correct value so these are the main important things in the rotational seismic displacement sensing accelerometer